I was so tired after our hike and bike riding and walking, but it was such a great day. Um, today we're going back into Lausanne, and Tatiana has to study a bit today, so I'm going to be going solo for the most part. Um, but I hear there's a farmer's market, a fleas market, fleas, flea market, um, and apparently you get free entry uh, to a lot of the museums on the first Saturday of the month. And guess what? It is the first Saturday of the month. And so we'll see if that happens. And I'm just excited to walk around and explore the city a bit more. But I'm about to get ready and have breakfast and then we'll be on our way. Tatiana is spoiling me. She has gotten us stuff for crepes. I mean the full spread. Just look. <laughs> Ugh. What am I gonna do when I go back to oats? <laughs> So we have vlogged. Um, well, now we're in the old town of Lausanne. Okay. And we just um, went out of the train and we went up to the upper part. Okay, so I have just left Tanya in the library, the most beautiful library I've ever seen. So with it being the first Saturday of the month, a lot of the museums are free entry today, which is great for me. But here is the flea market that is right outside Palace de Robo that I cannot pronounce. So it's quite big. I, I'm loving this city. It's so vibrant and lively and the architecture again, breathtaking. I just can't say enough good things. <laughs> So the main languages spoken in Switzerland are French, German, and Italian. I feel like I'm hearing French the most, um, although I have heard German, um, I don't know that I've heard really much Italian, if any, but those are the three main languages, none of which I speak. Ooh la la, le chocolate. Oof. The Swiss chocolate, the Swiss cheese, the Swiss Alps. All, all these things that really hit the soul in a great way. 
So not that I feel unsafe or anything, but I would recommend just popping in either a cafe or a store when you're looking up directions other than being in the city center, just so you don't look lost. And um, that way you can get your bearings before you go out and you're just bumping into people and it's just very chaotic. So that's just a pro tip for when you're looking up directions. So my plan for today is just to walk around and when I see something I want to do, to do it. Um, normally I would plan and find museums and cathedrals and castles or whatever to go see. But I found that I'm simply tired of that kind of travel. So today, winging it. So right now I'm just walking back to the farmer's market, having a few samples of the local stuff. But I think I'm going to head down to Musée d'Elysée, which is a photography art museum. It's about a 30 minute walk, so it'll take me a bit to get there and I probably will stop for food on the way. I had to stop and film this music in the background. I love this song. Oh. I stuff myself with free samples, free lunch. Okay, so up next, going to Musée de It's like a 20 minute walk, not too bad. We arrived. Bonjour, I'm English. Yes, a okay. little bit. Um, is, is it's free to just today. walk through? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Okay. okay, thank you so much. Welcome. So this museum is actually inside of an old mansion and it's actually really cool so I highly recommend this museum. I'm struggling a bit because part of me feels guilty for not rushing and seeing all the museums and typical things that you're supposed to see when you're at a new place. But then part of me is looking out and seeing the Alps across um, the water here and I kind of don't care. I'm actually just enjoying myself so much. This is insane. Like, oh, it's so beautiful. Woo, Switzerland's beautiful. Geez, you should come here. I feel like I'm sitting in the middle of like a painting. We have a weeping willow just sitting under it, just chilling. Oh. There was a swan here at one point. Where did it go? That would really add to the scene. But I'm sorry, I, I think it left. got a muesli at Co, and I'm gonna go eat it at Ochi. So I kind of wanted to have some chatting time while I was eating my muesli, which is actually really, really great. So I spent the majority of my day by myself because Tanya needed to study. And um, she took me around yesterday and it was amazing and she's amazing. I am so happy I've gotten to see her. But today has just been seriously one of the best days I've had. It's been a simple day. But you know, getting to talk with Tanya who has been so many places in the world at such a young age and it's just been so brave has shown me that 
like all of my fears are pretty irrational and that I just need to um, go for it and not, I feel that so many people have told me that this time in my life while I'm studying abroad is, oh, the highlight of your life, can't get any better. And although, yes, this has been incredible and whoa, like I can't, um, I can't imagine, I can't imagine, um, I can't see it in my head, but of course it can get better. The boat's leaving. Um, don't let people, I just really don't like when people try and confine you in a box. And, um, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We have some crazy action. Um, I find that discouraging. Although I know these people don't understand what they're saying is, um, is confining. It, it truly is. So I really think that, um, this is just the first step for me. And I don't say that in a conceited way, co just cocky way. I say this as in I've learned so much and I've learned through going places and meeting people that there is so much more to learn. So I'm excited. Um, and because this is what I want, I'll create a life that allows for that. I think that your life is totally up to you. And so if you want something, do it. You only have one life to do it. and. You know, money is, is, is a factor. Um, there's a lot of factors. There's a lot of factors. Money's probably one of the biggest ones. But truly, if you desire something, then it's not going to be an issue. And you can be like me and um, have muesli <laughs> sitting outside. But I'm so happy. Um, you don't have to travel luxuriously to enjoy it. And that I hope this the, these videos I make attest to that. And I want you to know that traveling is not a, the equivalent to vacation. I've not vacationed, although um, I've completely enjoyed myself. Traveling, for me, is about learning. And um, I hope that sharing this with you, if you're not able to be going and traveling right now, that you've learned something from these videos. I really, that's my goal with making these. And um, yeah, so thank you for watching them. I'm just feeling so grateful today and I just kind of wanted to be more personal and uh, talk with the camera rather than show you what I see. Just life is really, really great. <laughs> so I'm going to keep it real with you. I just got another muesli because I was a little bit hungry and it was really good. Um, so <laughs> I did spend almost eight francs on muesli for dinner. Uh, so that defeats the purpose of trying to eat cheap, but you girls got to eat. And I'm just walking back by Ochi. I'm about to meet up with Tanya because we're going to a jazz festival tonight. We made it to the Cooley Jazz Festival and it's incredible so far. Are you excited? I am oh, excited. Yay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's just amazing. We're just sitting on the rocks waiting for the first concert to start. Serving up with uh, chips. We want to have a chips here. Yeah. Or just French fries. One, two, three. We just asked someone to take a photo of the four of us, and then some social media people came up and asked us to say something in French, and I just mouthed words because I had no idea what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit.